Hey everybody, Chris Grust here. So it's been a while since I did a gun cleaning video. So today I'm going to take apart my wife's Glock 19 to go through a cleaning. And I'm actually using a, a fairly new product that I picked up uh, a little bit ago that I have yet to try it out. So uh, stick with me and uh, I'll show you what it is. Okay, so the wife and I went and did some a little bit of shooting the other day, and here is her Robin Eggs Blue Glock 19 Gen 4 that she has. And this thing, because it's such a lighter color, it gets dirty relatively quick. So I thought I'd go ahead and give it a good clean down. I also have some other pistols that also need cleaning. I'm a little bit delinquent in my cleaning schedule, unfortunately, but I like to sit down and kind of clean a bunch of guns at one time or over the course of a few days or weeks. Uh, it's kind of a relaxing thing for me. So I don't know about what you guys, what do you think? What's your cleaning schedule? What's your thoughts on cleaning in general? So you can see here that this thing is in fact clear. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart for maintenance and cleaning of this here Glock 19 pistol. Okay, so I got the Glock 19 of my wife's already broken down. So let's take a look at what comes in this kit from Aegis Gun Care. So it does come in a nice pouch here that you can strap on to a gun bag or a belt or something like that. Uh, came with a American flag patch. I'm a little disappointed I didn't get one of the Aegis Gun Care patches. I think Aegis is really cool only because I was in the Navy and I worked on an Aegis ship and worked on the Spy 1 Alpha radar system, which is the heart of the Aegis weapon system. So I really like the name. So uh, open this guy up. It does come with a, looks like a cleaning cloth. Comes with a bunch of Q-tips, kind of long ones. And they have some pointed ends on one side and some rounded ends on the other. So that looks like they'd be pretty dang handy. Uh, here's just a card from Aegis and it looks like some other items here, some patches and whatnot. So like I said, I really like their logo and their name. Comes with a nice uh, cleaning brush there as well. And then as far as the cleaners, so here is the cleaner itself. It is made and tested in the US, so always a good thing. And then here is the lubrication. So it looks like it has a cleaning solution and then a lubricating solution. So also in here, it looks like we got some patches, some brushes for different calibers as well as a a jag for pulling your patches through. It's got this little doodad right here. I'm not really sure about that, so I'm gonna have to kind of look into what that. Uh, we have a cleaning cable assembly, and it looks like a pull handle for the cleaning cable. And one more cable. So it looks like a shorter one as well as a longer one. That is it, nothing else in the back, so we'll go ahead and set this aside. As far as the brush size, it looks like a 357 which is perfect for nine millimeter. You got a 22 brush as well as, let's see, what is this one, a 45. So that's awesome. Those are three calibers that definitely can make some use of. And since this is a, this is a pistol and not a rifle, looks like I can use the shorter cable here. All right, and let's get to cleaning. What I like to do with my cleaning is I always like to, and I'm not doing a full strip down, I'm just doing a basic field cleaning, <clears throat> field stripping cleaning. You can see all the carbon deposits and stuff on here. So I like to spray my stuff down with some sort of a cleaner and kind of let them soak. So I'm gonna do that. some down here in the barrel. I always recommend wearing some gloves. Uh, you never know when you're cleaning uh, some solutions are toxic or not toxic. Plus, you know, a lot of this stuff will dry your hands out. So uh, good idea to wear some gloves. A little rag right here. And I'll be honest, it's not a, not a lot of a rag. So I'll probably end up using some towels and whatnot as well. I'll go ahead and just try to so I hose this stuff down and see if I can start wiping some of the stuff off of here and you can see already that the end of the slide assembly where we had a lot of carbon buildup that's coming off pretty dang easy actually um, pretty impressed with that some stubborn areas down in there in the slide uh, on the uh, breech face there so uh, probably a good opportunity to uh, 
go ahead and use some of these fancy Q-tips. So I'll go ahead and pull one of those out. And I can't remember exactly what this kit costs. Uh, it wasn't too expensive, but for what it comes with, it's actually a pretty good value. So this pointed end Q-tip is actually pretty slick. So you can get in some, some spots you normally wouldn't be able to get into. All right, so I would say that's a did a pretty good job of getting that cleaned up pretty dang quick. I mean, I do have some discoloration on the breech face, but that's, you know, just from use. I mean, this pistol, I don't know how many rounds it's got through. It's got a good bit of rounds. I have done some upgrades to it for the wife, and uh, you can see a set of night vision sights there. All right, so go ahead and set this aside for now, and let's go ahead and start working on the barrel assembly. So I did spray that down with the cleaner and let it sit for a good bit and i think we're about time to start using using our cleaning cable here going to hose that patch down with a little bit more of that cleaner just kind of pull it through the barrel here and you can see it's definitely loosened up a good bit of carbon but it's already came pretty dang clean i'll go ahead and switch over to a brush It looks the same, but I can't get this got a thread on there. I don't know if it's got a burr on the thread or what the deal is. So let me try one of the other brushes just for the heck of it. It's a little frustrating when you can't get. Oh yeah, so this one threads on just fine. So it must be a burr on this brush head here. So that kind of kind of sucks. I can't really see it. I want to break it off in there because then I'll be really hosed. For the sake of time on this video, I'm going to go ahead and set this brush aside. I do have other uh, 9mm or 357 sized brushes, so I'm going to go get a different one. I think this one here has a defect on the threads. Alright, so i got a trusty old Otis cleaning kit. I've had this for a long time. It's just their basic Patriot series. i got a bunch of the other kits as well. And we got a uh, 9mm brush from Otis. So let's uh, see if I can get this guy on there so we can keep rocking and rolling with our cleaning. So, Aegis, if you happen to see this video, got a defective threads on that brush. All right, so go ahead and run this brush through there a couple times. And the uh, only crappy thing about these cable type cleaning systems is you've got to constantly unthread something in order to get that guy through there. So, because you don't want to. You can't really push it back through the barrel very easily. Okay. All right, so I would say that's pretty good shape there. Just a couple passes. You normally don't need a whole lot uh, with a 9mm barrel unless you're shooting a lot of lead stuff. And this is a Glock, and you're not supposed to shoot lead stuff through a Glock. But if you look through that barrel, you can see it's already pretty gosh darn clean. I'm impressed with this cleaner. I think this cleaner does a great job. So let me switch back over to a patch. I'll run another patch through there, see if it comes out clean. Just in case you don't know, you always want to run from the breech end to the muzzle end when you're running patches or brushes. You want to push that stuff out the way it's supposed to go. You don't want to put it back the other direction. So I know a lot of people don't know about that or don't care, but it's, it's good practice. So yeah, look at that. Pretty freaking clean. Hot dang. The other thing you're not really supposed to do is reuse patches, but these are really large, and I would say that if you fold them up, you know, or flip them over, as long as they're not sold too bad, you should be reusing them once or twice. Okay, so I'm going to let this sit right here. Let me go focus on the rest of this stuff that I hose down with the cleaner. Just kind of wipe it down. Recoil spring assembly, not really a big deal. Get that guy cleaned up. and Man, that thing looks like new. I'm really impressed with that cleaner. And then here we got our frame, and this guy was, whew, he was dirty. So let's see how 
kind of job this did out there on the muzzle end where it was getting pretty pretty dang oh yeah look at that my carbon's coming right off with that cleaner so that's good stuff that's really good stuff very impressed with this uh with this cleaner we'll see how the lubricant does but so far the cleaner the cleaner's got me sold on that so i'll do a little plug for a buddy of mine uh joe over at shooting gallery new england he does have a code for uh aegis gun care products he is a leaving an affiliate with them and uh so if you use his code uh, joe juice it will give you i think it's 10 percent off if i'm not mistaken i unfortunately do not have any discount codes for any of my affiliates However, I can get codes and I will pass those on to you when I get them. But, uh, but a standing affiliate discount code I do not have. All right. So yeah, if you guys look at that, that's pretty freaking clean, man. Gosh darn. Let me take, take this Q-tip a little bit. I'm just gonna saturate it with a little bit more cleaner. Just kind of get some of the cracks and crevices in here. I normally don't go too crazy with my cleaning regiments for the sake of science and seeing how, how good I can clean this thing. And this isn't a full teardown, this is just a quick field cleaning. Yeah, that's pretty dang good. So if I wanted to really get crazy, I'd take out the trigger assembly and the striker bar, all that good stuff and I would get down in the frame good but but honestly I think this is good enough for good enough for government work as they, as they say I get this slide rail a little better I hope this doesn't end up being like super long <laughs> definitely not my intention but I'll speed it up I'll speed it up past the parts all right look at that nice and clean on that frame and the inside is it's pretty clean like i said i could do better if i took some of this stuff out but we're going to leave it be all right let's go ahead and start adding some of this lubricant so cleaner thumbs up for me cleaner works really good just hose that stuff down that carbon stuff comes right off uh super impressed with this stuff and it's got a thumbs up for me so h gun care good job on that all right, so let's take a look at the lubricant. So also made in the USA. This is uh, two fluid ounces. So we'll start with the uh, start with the barrel here. And I noticed right away it's uh, it's not super thick. Uh, it does have a pretty good pretty good smell to it. I'm just gonna put some on this rag here and just kind of wipe that barrel down. I did run some through the the barrel itself so this hose this guy down real good if you uh, look at my cleaning mat it is a Glock cleaning mat and it does tell you where to lubricate your Glock components me unfortunately I am a in the camp of more is better with lubrication um, however more sometimes it's not better so try to follow the manufacturer recommended uh, lubrication points when at all possible all right barrels nice and nice and slippery so uh, it doesn't look like it's overly oily, but um, but if you feel it, it has a very nice, very nice slickness to it. So that's a little different than what I'm used to. Give myself a little more there. Go ahead and just kind of wipe down my recoil spring assembly. I probably could have used the brush a little bit more than I did. Um, sometimes I don't like to use those unless it's a lot of stubborn carbon, but that cleaner uh, caused it to come right off. So that was pretty dang good. Take my lubricant here, and I'm just going to kind of Wipe down this slide a little bit just to get kind of a lubrication on it. And I'll, I'm not going to leave a bunch of standing lubrication, but I'm going to just put that stuff on there kind of as a protectant. Okay. And I'll add a couple drops as I put the slide back on in the recommended places by Glock. Again, you have to be a little careful that you don't over lubricate, but this, this lubrication is a, a little odd. It's not a heavy oily finish, it's actually a lighter finish, but it seems to coat stuff pretty good, but it doesn't leave a lot of it doesn't leave a lot of slop, oily mess around. It's almost like a CLP. So CLP typically just sprayed on. It's a cleaner lubricant protectant. 
and then you leave it on. Just wipe off the excess. So that's kind of what this kind of acts like. Go ahead and do the reassembly here. So if you look at your barrel lubrication chart, I'm gonna add a little bit more to this. Probably don't need to, but. All right, so right there on the, a little bit on the barrel hood. And I'm just gonna kind of, kind of just work that around a little bit. All right, I drop that guy into our slide, like so. And then I got the recoil spring assembly and that thing's already, thing's pretty much already good to go. So I'm gonna just go ahead and assemble that guy back together. Go ahead and add my spots here. Uh, so they want you to add just a little bit and I'm trying not to, the stuff is so thin that it it's so thin it's hard to really get it in defined spots with this tube so probably if I had an oil dropper with this in there it'd be a little easier so something like so this here this is I use a lot for for cleaning Come throw this guy back together And there you have it. This is a freshly cleaned Glock 19 Gen 4. And let me get a rag, I'm gonna wipe the excess off. So that's a, like I said, that's a different type of cleaner. I mean, uh, lubricant rather. Um, we'll kind of see how it holds up. I uh, hope to do use this on a few more pistols and see how how that works and you can kind of see there a little bit of the remnants of it but it seems like it kind of impregnates the metal a little bit so you don't have to apply it super heavy um, but it's definitely that guy's it's definitely slick so all right so there you have it this is a look at the Aegis gun care cleaner and lubricant final thoughts on it cleaner Badass, love it. The lubricant, um, time will tell. I have a, another lubricant that I'm gonna be testing out as well from another company. And um, you know, it uh, applies really thin. So I may have to get a dropper, a finer dropper rather than using this one. But uh, you know, we'll also have to see how it holds up as far as uh, firing schedule, you know. But uh, so far so good. Uh, like I said, lubricant, I'm gonna reserve reserve my thoughts a little bit until later. Uh, cleaner though, definitely badass. I like whatever everything that comes. It's a complete set, has everything you need. Rags, cables, brushes, all that good stuff. And uh, the one issue that I did have was with the one brush having some threads that were messed up. So maybe I reach out to Aegis, good folks over there. Uh, definitely check them out. Um, like I said, this isn't a paid endorsement or anything like that. This is just me. Uh, purchasing a product and then trying it out and sharing my thoughts with you guys so any questions or comments definitely put them down below and um, yeah so good stuff okay so I hope this video provided a little bit of uh, good information for you guys I appreciate everybody watching and subscribing if you're looking for any sort of the products I use today or accessories for your farms definitely check out my link tree down below in the description box head over to Brownells or one of my other affiliates as well. Uh, the product I use today from Aegis Gun Care, I purchased this with my own money. I'm not an affiliate or anything with theirs, uh, but a lot of people swear by their products. So I wanted to give it a shot and see what I think. So appreciate everybody watching and subscribing, and I will catch you on the next video. Y'all take it easy.